darlings, welcome back to my channel. How are we all doing? I've just put a chewing gum in, so hopefully you won't see that moving around my mouth. So, moving vlog part two commences. Thank you so much for the love that you guys showed me on the first moving vlog, the first house vlog. I can't believe I actually have finally told you guys that it's actually out in the open and my home account's out there, which I literally, for the first month, I was like, I'd love to hit 500,000 followers on my home account in the first month. And today, I'm heading towards 800,000 followers. I made it last night. I am f literally flabbergasted. I cannot believe that so many of you want to be on this journey and so many of you want to watch this journey go down and watch us experiencing like having our first home and having our first house it means so much to me you have no idea so if you went and followed my new home account i love you so much thank you so much you guys are literally all my best friends like hyping me up like che cheering us on so it's currently a tuesday and i am actually heading to paris tomorrow for um a shoot with beauty works but this evening i am heading to the trafford center by myself just to have a little bit of um a mooch around i want to go around the selfridges home section um, i've been working all day i filmed my endometriosis video oh my god guys i had such a nightmare I went to edit it all the footage was black but i was getting kind of upset and stressed about that because i literally worked on it all day and then the footage didn't work so I'm going to take myself out of the house now just to get some fresh air. I'm going to do a humongous clear out of my wardrobe before we move over, we move over to the new house. Um, so I'll probably show you a bit of that if I start that this evening. Sorry, I had actually just switched my camera off ready to drive off the driveway. But I had to come back on here and um, just fill you in on something that happened. So basically, you know in the last vlog I said I'm going to give you a house tour of the current house we've been living in. Because I know you guys really want to see. Well, in the future, what I need to remember is it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. That's the worst motto to live by. Don't don't live by that. I'm really joking. I just saw it on a film the other day and I thought it was hilarious. The current landlord um, saw and he said, absolutely not. He said, no house tour of the house, please, which I totally understand. I moved into this specific house because it was so low key and so private and so amazing. And it was exactly what we needed. And maybe like the next tenant will want something like that as well. And they won't want anyone to know what, what, where they live or what the house looks like or anything like that. So I completely understand. But this house has been so good to us um, in a time of like emergency need. Like when we had the horrible situation with the apartment, this house was just exactly what we needed and I felt so safe here and we've been super blessed to have been living here so anyway I am gonna actually drive off now I'm not gonna lie I'm doing a much better job at buying myself some clothes than I am looking at homeware but I've just seen this cute table I love this coffee table book this is really cute I need to start collecting more of these to have around the house I love this green color I've actually started collecting these ones to be fair these really colorful ones I've got like quite a few different countries of them I'm gonna be honest guys I've let you down there I've let myself down. I've let you lot down. I've let the team down. I also forgot that my boot is completely full of like parcels. I don't even know what's in the boot, but it's completely full. So I'm trying to ram everything in the back of the car. I'm having a hot flush. And this is the first time I've actually switched the camera around to say hi to you guys, but in there, I just, I get shy. Hi. <laughs> first of all, why did I just say hi? Second of all, that was probably the most embarrassing thing I've ever happened to <laughs> Guys, why did I just say hi to him? He just, he just literally smiled at me. He went, I went, hi. I need to go home. I am never, ever going out shopping by myself ever again. I knew it was a bad idea. I knew it was a bad idea. Will that moment be replaying in my head for the rest of the night, probably the rest of the week? Absolutely, yes. Yes, it will. Hello, guys. It's a new day. It's a new week. Happy Tuesday. It's a very, 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 like the most exciting week for me in terms of this move. At the end of this week, in like four days, we are collecting the keys to our new home. I am just so excited I could burst because obviously we've not been in the new house because obviously we've not had the keys. Yes, I have still been driving there every single night to just stalk it and stare at it. Um, but we've not actually, since the last viewing, since I showed you guys on the last vlog, I've not been in the new house. You guys have been in the new house just as much as I have at this point, this month, um, which is really not not a lot. Um, so yeah, Friday is the keys day and I could literally just burst with excitement, but I have actually got to head off now. I just wanted to come on here and just start this vlog today. See, so, obviously I have my book coming out and I'm on my way now to record the last day of audio for people that want to listen to the audiobook version, which has actually been a massive challenge. Like, it's been a lot harder than I thought it would be to film, like, to record this um, audio. Um, it's taken me, like, three days to read the book. Like, we aim for 15 pages an hour. 
15 pages an hour. That sounds actually horrendous, but that's how long it takes to get every single word like perfect and get every single line perfect. Like it's a really, really hard thing, but I've enjoyed it. It's been a good little challenge. Anyway, I need to hop in the car now because I'm running late. Friday is the keys day. I literally cannot believe it. Like when we get the keys, that's the, monument, that's the monumental moment that I spoke to you guys about in the first vlog. And I was like, I don't want to talk about it until this moment happens. Well, that moment is getting the keys because I feel like until we get those keys in our hand, like that's when that house is ours. Like even though it's technically ours now, like when you exchange is literally, okay, right, we're not doing that. No baby, no baba. Like he's trying to escape on me. I've just had to shut the door. I was just trying to get the door open for a bit of light. But you just want to get out. Are you trying to tell me something? Do you not like me? It is literally so hot in this house. I am burning up. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to head off now. I look like Cindy Lou with this bun on my head. Like why does it literally look like a cinnamon swirl on top of my head? I'm all here for buns, like top not buns, but that, that's ridiculous. Like I literally look like I've got a freaking muffin on my head. Okay. Let's go. No, an extraordinary. Really? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, it's extra. Oh. No, I think it's fine. That it's not the end of the story. You will make mistakes in the process. I certainly have. And that's okay. You have to make mistakes. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. You have to make mistakes. Why do I? Right. This makeup. Why have I got? Bl can you guys see that? Can you? Can you? Have I been? <laughs> no. Have I actually been getting about like that all day? So I've been in meetings all day. Have I had? Have I? Had... Am I seeing things? Hey guys. So. Had a very, very, very busy day today. Today is Wednesday. So for the last couple of hours, I've been having a humongous, humongous sort out. Um, made a lot of progress, started to pack things up. Oh my goodness. Like the packing has begun. I literally just rang my sister, by the way, and was like, I've just started packing. And she was like, oh, where are you going? I was like, <laughs> what, like I'm moving house. I'm, I'm moving house. Like, did you? And she was like, oh. Oh, so I thought you were going away. I was like, no, Zoe. I've done our spare room, which has been like a bit of the dumping room for like PR and clothes and stuff. Like it's just been a bit of, I'll go, I'll go in there and show you in a second what I've done. Um, and now my next job, which isn't too much of a major job. I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing. I'm doing the bathroom next because the bathroom drawers are absolute chaotic dump. My aim is to like have a sort out so that packing up is a lot easier and that everything in the drawers can be taken over because I think it's better to sort out before you pack because otherwise you go to pack and you're like, actually, I don't want that. I don't want that anymore. I don't want that. So it's better to like just pack the things that you actually want. Anyway, I'm going to have a bite. This is the cookie dough chocolate chip, one of my favorites. Mm -mm 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 Tell me you're excited. That you're getting your keys on Friday without telling me. First things first. Take this makeup off and sort this hair out. Can you believe, guys, that it's seven o'clock and it's literally broad daylight? Seven o'clock. And it's like literally like looking out in the middle of the day. Also, I spied my little eyes at the beginning with a white snow leopard. Now, the problem that I have with our master ensuite in this house which I've never shown you guys before, is that when I switch on the light that illuminates the mirror, so you guys can see what on earth I'm doing, wait for it, we're having a rave! I don't know why, but the lights, <laughs> I mean, I should probably stop doing that. But yeah, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't really illuminate the bathroom that well, so it has always been a little bit on the dark side in here. Um, here she is, in her pyjamas. I am a little bit hyper, aren't I? I think it's because I had. Monster punch. My sister's boyfriend said that I'm really weird that I drink this. I've only ever had like three in my lifetime, but boy, do they give me energy. Like, whoa, if you ever need a bit of an energy boost, highly recommend. Are you gonna help your mum tidy up the drawers? Are you bread? Ready? This is the state of what I'm working with right now. I literally just opened the drawer and pulled this basket out and not touched anything and this is how i'm walking in and showing you guys so it's a little bit of a mess and then inside here we do have <laughs> right i want to just have a complete sort out i honestly need to sort myself out because <laughs> the state of me i've been absolutely 
43 hours to do this i have been lying on every single part of this bathroom floor like there there here on this rug here in the drawer itself yeah here we have organization i've used my little basket some of you on here actually probably follow taylor blue who was the one that re-inspired me to get my lovely white baskets out um she says that she bought them because she saw me posting them but now i'm reusing them because i saw her post them look at the actual state of me I look really sweaty. It is moisturiser, I promise. Um, it's hailing. Oh, it's so crazy. <laughs> Sorry, but I actually, um, I'm just obsessed with rain and like coziness and like when it hails and like I can hear the rain and the hail and the wind and the gusting like outside the window. <laughs> it looks worse than when I first started. Let me have a little spruce clean up for five minutes and then I will re-show you this. And yes, did I consume two packets of crisps in the time I've been in here? Quaver's grab bag and some Walker's bait. Yes, I did. Okay, I was tidying up, but then I made this really cute little bundle and I've told everyone on my Molly Mason account to jump in my DMs and someone's gonna win it. I really wanna do stuff like that on my Molly Mason account more often. Um, I want it to be a bit more of like a chilled, laid back, fun loving, you know, account. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get for now. I mean, it's definitely not perfect and I definitely still have a lot more work to do, but it's a massive, massive improvement um, and pretty pretty happy with this. I'm gonna head off to bed now. The next time I switch on this camera will be picking up the keys day because I don't want it to get too long and too into the vlog without me actually picking up the keys, which is what this vlog is mainly about. Um, so yeah, when I next pick up the camera, it'll be Friday, like the, one of the most important days of my entire life. Oh gosh, I can't even believe that like this week, this is the week that like we'll be picking up the keys. Like what? That's when it will finally feel real. Like when I have that key in my hand, that's when it will finally feel like that house is ours. Until then, I don't think it, I don't think it has sunk in yet because it doesn't feel like ours yet, you know? Anyway, this camera's shaking and I look so greasy, but I promise it is just moisturizer. Anyway, I also just picked a girl to win that little bundle, um, which was really fun. I'm gonna do more things like that on my, on my home account. But anyway, guys, over and out. See you Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Happy key collection day. Oh my God. I feel like I've been so crazy busy this morning that I've not had a minute to actually process what's about to happen. Fran's waiting in my car for me now, and I'm gonna drive us to the new house to collect the keys. It happens so much quicker than we expected today. Like it's, it goes, has to go for like a lot of legal processes before they send this email where it's like the keys can be released. Like it's very formal. And that email has already been sent and it was like half 11 when that got sent. So I've been so lucky today. So we're picking the keys up and it's only 12 o'clock. We expected it to be like around half one, two. Um, so we're ahead of schedule and I'm just on cloud nine right now. I'm out of breath. I had to literally do this face of makeup in about 33 seconds whilst also filming um, some stories for a brand. So it's a lot going on on this morning i'm gonna jump in the car now to take the journey to the house to collect the new keys can you actually be, believe i'm saying that like i literally can't believe this day has come the lady's at the house waiting to give us the keys and she doesn't have all day so i'm gonna head out now and i'll see you guys when we get there I'm just trying to find a place where i can rest you guys i'm in the new house the keys have been collected i have just walked into the i can't even explain what just happened so basically we picked up the keys around midday today it was just the most amazing thing like getting the keys and just being here for a couple of hours and just exploring the house like every single nook and cranny on viewings i've only ever really been here for like 20 minutes at a time we've only ever really seen it in snippets we've never really had a chance to really like look at every single nook and cranny of the house every single light switch every single like just corner wardrobe you name it i went out with fran to run a few errands and then i came back and basically, my beautiful team, Fran and the girls, Erin and Ellen, have put together a little housewarming party for me. I walked in, I'm going to show you what I walked into in a second. It is just the cutest thing I have ever seen and all my favourite people are coming down in the, like, the next hour. Like, how lucky am I that I have people that like care 
that much to like do that for me that's just literally made my entire day a lot of you guys are going to be wondering like where the hell's tommy like why is tommy not involved on this day but as you will know by now which he finally announced he is in a very 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 strict tra training camp at the minute for his fight on the 23rd at wembley which is going to be like absolutely insane and so huge so that's where he's been and that's why he's not been involved in like the whole this whole process over the last two months because he's just been in like the strictest camp so we've not been living together and then obviously because he's been living away he's not been here to help with like any of this stuff yeah i'm gonna take you downstairs and show you what the girls have done because you guys it is the cutest thing i have ever seen and i literally came in i'm gonna insert my reaction now <laughs> sweetest thing ever um and i'm so happy that people are going to be coming around this afternoon and see the new place and i can like show my family because no one's seen it yet more is in ireland at the minute um fran did ask her if she could come but she can't make it because she's in ireland um i'm gutted but she'll be coming around to see it soon anyway um but yeah i need to stop waffling on i'm currently in tommy's dressing room and leading on to the bathroom um but yeah let's go down and i'll show you what they've done try not to give too many sneak peeks, um, but I did take a little selfie here, I think, and popped it on my Instagram when I announced the homepage. But here I am also, imagine that I'm about to have a housewarming party and <laughs> I'm in a full tracksuit, supporting a full tracksuit and slides. Full tracksuit, I mean, I shouldn't really be wearing these upstairs, should I? So here is the setup that I walked into. I was literally completely speechless. Like, because I'm obsessed with Shrek, they did like a little Shrek style book, they said, and they did Molly Mason, the next chapter, once upon a time in a kingdom far, far away, and then the date, which is today where we picked up the keys. And can you guys even quote? Because this is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Like, it literally looks so magical. I'm just waiting for everyone to come around now. Then they had little cookies made as well that say Molly Mason on. There's a little bit of a theme running here, guys, Molly Mason. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Oh, these are the best ones. Yummy, thank you. Even the rice smells. Never had it. I'll go anywhere. I'll go So I'll go anywhere. Care about the way they're looking at us Cause I know they wish they had it And they know we doing damage to the game I don't care about the stereotype I can never do a mono with a stereotype I'm talking left, right, link I'm talking left hand ring I'm talking this right here forever We ain't here just for the summer Always on 10, we ain't never had to come up Guys, I've not had time to introduce the vlog this morning Today's a new day I'm just about to have a humongous mirror installed in the hallway Now I have a bit of a story time to tell you about this situation But I have woken up about three minutes ago Obviously guys, we've not moved into the new house yet So when the work's starting super early in the morning We'll be getting deliveries I'm having to literally like drive over here I literally woke up about five minutes ago but oh my god I'm so excited I'm having this mirror installed today which I'll tell you about in a minute when it's installed um, but it's a massive job there's like literally seven men here to install it um, because it's the most gigantic mirror you've ever seen but I'm so excited but yeah today's Monday a brand new week all the work starts on the house on Wednesday um, when I've woken up a little bit more and the mirror's been installed I will properly introduce a new day on this vlog because I feel like I've gone from having a gorgeous housewarming party to me being like oh my guys <laughs> I've no idea what's going on I'm literally half asleep no, 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 so guys, here is the mirror now installed. So if you guys may remember about two years ago when I did the apartment tour of the first apartment that we lived in. Oh my gosh, guys, the state of me. If you've been on my channel for about two years, you may remember when I did an apartment tour and I explained to you guys about the fact that I basically ordered this mirror. Um, I waited it for it to come for like, I think it was actually like two months or something crazy, like eight weeks was the wait. And I was so excited on the day that it arrived. I was literally buzzing and um, basically they couldn't get it up the stairs of the apartment. And I was so heartbroken. Like I kept it in storage for probably about six months and considered like getting a cherry picker to like put it over the balcony and all this stuff in the end i ended up just returning it um so i've had a real relationship with this mirror ever since i've gone to buy it so many more times and i kept thinking oh my god we've, we're going to get this house and then the house would fall through i've wanted to get this mirror for so long so i am so happy 
that I finally now have it and it has a beautiful spot. So basically it does actually light up and when it lights up, it kind of looks more gold because at the moment it looks very silver. Um, but it has, as you can see here, it has a plug and then um, an on switch. So um, this all lights up, um, but it's so beautiful when it lights up. But the only thing is, is that there is no plug socket at the moment behind here. So a plug socket is getting put in, um, but I'm gonna try and get an extension lead today just to make sure that the mirror works and stuff when the lights do switch on and also just to see and show you guys. Very happy now this is installed. Great for some full length outfit shots, even though today the outfit, oh my gosh, these are the most unflattering joggers I've ever seen. So everyone can see, unfortunately, my new nail vibe of this whole short gel situation lasted all of about three days and now, I have picked them off and peeled them. I just don't feel like my nails are strong enough to hold just gel, guys. I feel like it needs to be an acrylic or like a little bit of biab or something because that is not acceptable. Um, but we just ordered some acai bowls from a place down the road. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm. So this is lunch. Well, breakfast lunch. Brunch. I got a coconut bowl, oh, banana strawberries. What did you guys get? Oh, the sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah, they make it. That's the Lovely down. bowl for me. Wow. Mm. Is yeah, yeah, figs and pistachios. Wow. So, got my girl. <laughs> Parking tickets need to be clean. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to sit down and have a little bit of food now. Two extension leads later. <laughs> and here we have the mirror with the lights on. I don't know why I keep not standing in front of it, but this outfit is just not a, not a vibe. Um, but it's so beautiful with the lights on. I'm honestly just so, so, so pleased to finally have this mirror. Like, basically, the plan is. Um, that I'm going to get a bit of a console table here in the centre, maybe a circular one or a square one. I'm going to have like a nice display on it, like coffee table books and candles and all that good stuff. But yeah, so this is the mirror. It's from Timothy Alton, from anyone wondering. And it's been my dream mirror for as long as I can remember. And finally, it now belongs to me. Honestly, guys, I can't explain how big it is. Like, it doesn't even... It doesn't even look big on the camera, but it's literally gigantic. I'm very aware that this vlog has been filmed in about a hundred different places. Oh my God, the state of me. Oh my gosh, I had to do my makeup and sort myself out to get a little picture. But I just um, I feel really lethargic today. I feel like the last few days, well, the last week really, because this has been filmed over a long amount of time, I've just been here, there and everywhere. And there's been so many emotions and like, so much to take in. Obviously, it's been one of the best weeks of my entire life. Um, and it's just been a lot to take in, but I am gonna bring this vlog to a close now because I want to start my next vlog because like, there's a, the work on the house is getting started on Wednesday. Um, things are getting ripped out, things are getting renovated and all that stuff, so I wanna start the process of that, which would be like the renovation vlogs, really. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try and work it out. This has probably honestly been one of my favorite vlogs I've ever filmed. Um, such a special vlog and so sentimental, and I'm just so glad that like I had these moments on camera that I can look back on like for the rest of my life or like even when my kids say oh like <laughs> show me this moment or show me that moment like I can show it to them on video like through my YouTube I just love that um because it's something that I wouldn't normally film you know but yeah I'm so glad I get to bring you guys on this journey with me um if you stuck around to the end of this video then I love you millions and make sure you keep your eyes peeled for my next house vlog which will be coming really soon I'm gonna also film a drive with me this week as well I think um so look out for that I need to buy like a tripod that attaches to my car um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to head out now to the range and to B&M um, to get some more home bits. Maybe I'll do a bit of a, a little haul in my next vlog as well. I'm going to head out. I love you all and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.